Good, good morning, good morning, yeah, good, good morning. morning. How are you, man? Good morning in Centurion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. More good. Yeah, yes, thank, sir. No, I'm good, man. Thank, thank you so much for coming over. Yeah. I uh, hear you've been in SA for a few months. Um, and how has it been? Is it a few months, few weeks, right? No, it's a month. Actually. It's a full month, it's okay. Month. Yeah. Yeah. And how has it been for you? Yeah, it's been good. Oh my God, I've been busy. Yeah, that's Monday good. to Sunday, so yeah. Ah no, well, that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. No, you must keep popping by. This yeah. is your, this is your home. And Thank you, man. And you, I feel home. Yeah. You feel home. Always. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Look, so, so I thought today it would be good that um, we we just you know get to know you and uh, uh, understand you know uh, the type of work that you're doing uh, yeah. in the music space and and learn from it. You know. Yeah. And above all, just share with with the people who who might not know you, or yeah. even those who know you. You know, yeah. they can even know you a bit yeah, better. Yeah, sure. and sometimes with music, it's not much about the skill and the and the music that you are taking out. It's about yeah. the story behind. Yeah. You know. So I think I think I would I would like us to capture that uh, well today. So firstly, maybe let's 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 go back uh, uh, mm -hmm. maybe two three years ago. I mean I. I mean, I think I met you about th three years ago now. Must be, yeah. Uh, it must be 20, 2020, 2021, one of the two. That's before COVID. Must be 2021. 2020, 2020. Yes. That's ah, so, okay. It must be 2021. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So look, you, you, you are doing excellent work in Malawi, you know? Oh. Now you're doing excellent work. Um, Thank you. At least man. I got to experience it when I was, when I was there with you. Uh, yeah. On, on two occasions. So... So maybe tell us, you know, a little bit about yourself and your story, and how did you get to have the the capacity to to do the type of work that you are doing in Malawi? Yeah. And then we'll we'll take it from there. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, actually, I had a dream, and that dream was like I would like to have a band. Okay. Where I can be singing with my friends. Okay. And I started uh, accumulating some stuff like guitars, keyboards, slowly. I started from 20, 2011. Okay. Yes. Buying one keyboard, keeping it, a guitar and all that. Then around 2016, that's when I got about maybe uh, two be bass pins, some two, four tops, mm. and a backline. So I was like, what can I be doing with this? Oh. I need to try them first. Yeah. So I wanted to try them with a proper band. Then I got Faith Musa, I think you know him. Yes, I know. And, I uh, and some other artists. So they worked on the equipment. I was like, oh, wow, this this is sounding good. Mm. So I think I can start working on it. Oh. Then I got my friends, and uh, these are the same people I've worked with for a long time. Okay. Up to now. Okay. So we started playing music together. And it happens that I already had some two albums. Which I did one in 20, 2011, another one in 2016. So I was uh, working on this, uh, on the music with, with this group. So I started from there. I got the motivation from these people, like, because these, most of the people that I was working with, they were already playing with other bands. So I learned a lot from them. Okay. Because my background, I don't have any music background. Oh, okay. I'm just a singer, like born a singer. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. not like I went to school. I did whatever. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. And then, so, so, so you you come up, you, you come together with your friends, yeah. and then you you craft the type of work that you you've done, and yeah. and then we we are we are where we are now. So how did you how did you manage to because look, when you're gonna mix, so my assumption yeah. is that these friends of yours are obviously not message people, and yeah, they're yeah. not. So, so now the question is, how do you, how do you prevent yeah. external influences from uh -huh. derailing you? Yeah. Um, because you know, if you meet with and mingle with a lot of people that actually do not believe like like ourselves, yes. there is a potential to. And, and and that's the general fear that yeah, yeah, that, sure. that parents have, uh, my parents had, and and that's general people have. So mm -hmm. so how did you prevent all those external influences from? I feel like uh, identity is what matters. Putting forward your identity. Yeah. I think when you're associating people ev with people, everyone has to know <coughs> where 
what you stand for, who you are. So bringing people together, I brought them to the atmosphere of the type of music that we we sing, the type of message that we believe in. So it's like everyone is aware of what we stand for and which message we are trying to okay. take out to the people. Okay, no, no, no. So, so so that's that's, that's how it that's works. Good. So so identity, so so meaning you, you don't shy away yeah. from saying this is who I am. Yes. And, and and that's your protection. Yes. In the in the in the whole mix of, of all other people. Exactly. And so so and, and then but what were the benefits of, of, of mixing with them? Why why didn't you keep to 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 brothers, you know? Okay, you know, being honest, uh, as brothers in our <coughs> community, we haven't done much. Okay. Uh, that's I'm talking about Mahalo now. Okay. We haven't done much as regards to music. I've seen a lot, they are coming up, okay. uh, instrumentalists, uh, vocals, and even producers and all that. But we are yet to get to that level where we can produce something and give it out to the people. You know what we are doing is like, we are not singing only for us, the believers. We are singing for somebody who has never heard the message, to hear the message through the music. Yeah. Now for them to get attracted to the message, you have to craft it so well and you have to package it in a way that they will be attracted to it and not being distracted. So that's why I brought in these these other people. They have been of a great help. Okay. You know, uh, some are engineers, good engineers, some are good instrument players and some are vocal coaches and all that. When you bring all those together under uh, the message that we believe in, uh, we yeah. come up with something yeah. good. No, I like what you're saying. So, so the 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 essence of everything is to is to really stick to the message and make yeah. sure that you don't compromise on the content. Yes. All right. Then they can focus on the technical quality and many other things that they can do around the music. Exactly. And of of course, with a bit of regulation, there is there's some styles and some mm -hmm. some some things that are a bit foreign to yeah. to, to to us. You know, yeah. even on myself on, on my music, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't really allow. Yeah. Sure. But then you become very aggressive on the content that you're yeah. saying. So, so no, that's that, that's really something to, to, to think about. Yeah. And 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 what is it that you think that as uh, as people of our faith yeah. should should do to uplift the standard of music uh, so that we we can be self-sufficient. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the first thing I, I think one needs to be natural, number one, it has to be you and really we need to learn as well, we can learn from these other people and we can get what is right, you know, there's something about, there's something general about music, you can learn how to play an instrument mm. and you can learn how to do some disciplines in music, then you bring in the natural you. And where the natural you, I'm talking about the you, the natural, and the spiritual you. Mm. Whatever you know you are in the message, bring it into music. I'm sure that's the best that we can do. Yeah. And in terms of sharpening the skill so that we 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 up to par, you know. I, I mean I mean let's if if you've got children, yeah. I do have children. Yeah. And uh, you know, music now is open we, yeah. we don't no longer buy music it's not easy yeah. to control music yeah. right so uh, and gospel music is broad there's a lot of content that they are they're yes. exposed to yeah. um and 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 you don't we don't you can regulate up to so much yeah. you know you can uh, teach up to so much yeah. uh, but but i mean to a large extent they now have access to 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 this music that has got that is very good, yeah. but the content is very shallow. Yeah. It's much better that they listen to um, music with uh, very strong content that will influence them positively. So, yeah. my question is, what is it? Uh, I mean, what would you say to an average musician yeah. in terms of upskilling themselves mm -hmm. so that? It's not a competition, but yeah. our, our music must must uh, music is a standard, right? Yes. It's not a 
it's not a it's not a faith thing. It's a it's a standard. That's why you've got classical music. There's yes. a certain level that you need to play music. Yeah. And you've got many other genres, and there's a certain level, and right up to the highest uh, standard. So, mm -hmm. I think the aim is to come up with that right quality of yeah. music. Yeah. That that will take away the need yeah. for our children and our, and our you know fellow brothers and sisters to dip into 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 yeah. other influences that are sort of contemporary and and just secular yes. in nature you know so yeah. so so i want you to just maybe send a very strong message on onto our musicians to say you know the battle is on like like how how, how do we now put ourselves out there and make yeah. sure that the real authentic people whom we are you know we are at the helm we don't we don't have this beautiful world but rely on the rest of the world yeah for for music content so i just want your comment on that okay so the thing is <clears throat> uh you know in the bible it talks about skill play skillfully so it's not <clears throat> wrong to learn how to play music yeah it's not wrong <laughs> and it's not even wrong to learn from the best so yeah. there are people out there who have done a lot in music they are not believers but it's not wrong to learn from them you can learn from them and come up with something good uh, but the thing is we don't need to say because there is this uh, thing about believers where we say I know we are going to heaven so we can play with skill mm. yeah we just need to do play joyful noise yeah 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 do joyful noise then we are good to go but you know there is a question there is a lot of music out there and one will be saying, why should I listen to you? Yes. Yeah. Why, yeah, why? you yeah. and not all the other Yeah, because people? it sounds better. You yeah, know, you it, it, it comes out better. It, it, it just creates a good inf uh, atmosphere in my home. Yes. Yeah. So we've got a good message. We've, we've got a life-saving message. But we are not packaging it musically for the people who can't get the message through preaching to get it. So what do we need to do is we learn how to craft the music so well. And uh, it's not wrong to do any other genre like uh, the genre that you naturally can do. Mm -hmm. You see, so because there is a question where people say, no, you can't do this genre, you can't do that other genre. But when you find yourself in that space doing the other genre, you don't bless people mm -hmm. because it's not coming out natural. Yeah, yeah. So I think you find yourself where you can play the best and take the message of the hour, throw it into into the music. I'm sure that's how we can do it. Skillfully. Wow, great, yeah. great. Okay, so so my, my, my follow up question would be now. Yeah. Um you know what is what is the acceptable genre? So and I'll first put out my view. Well maybe maybe let's 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 hear you first. Like yeah. like like what <laughs> I mean, wait, look, and, and, and I'm going to put the question as, as broad as I can, because you have, there are genres that are not acceptable to me, let's mm -hmm. just put it that way. Yeah. There are genres, that you, like you can't, in South Africa you've got, uh, you know, uh, party music, like yes. house music, and yeah. and, and uh, Guaito, and there's a whole lot of you know, mm -hmm. piano and all that. Yeah. I believe you can't. You, yeah. It's me. Yeah. Like, I believe you can't have a gospel song yes. that is in the genre, yeah. all right, because of where it originates, yeah. right? And number two, I I believe that you can't have uh, this 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 music this music like 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 rap music. Like, okay, rap comes from poetry apparently, you yeah. know, but you can have poetry. In, in, I, I don't have a problem with with yeah. poetry. You can. I can play and then you can bring a good poem. I actually want to go that route. If yeah, I can yeah. mix, if I can meet a good poet, I would want to work with a good poet. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there is, uh, there is some uh, violence, there mm -hmm. is some vulgarness that comes with certain sounds, yeah. uh, which, which, which rapper. I'm talking at least as an African, yes. that is uh, the side of yeah. harsh or bad music that I know. I know. In other communities, you can have 
rock or I don't know the music that you know is associated with depression you know, or whatever. Yeah. So 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 but but remember I've said all this. Yes. And bottom line is music is is I believe it 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 it, it, uh, it, it, it it's like it's like water or oxygen. It's a concept that is there that was brought by God. You yeah, know, it's something yeah. that is there. Yeah. But it depends who takes that yeah. and does what with it. Yes. Right? You can take water and create beer out of it yes. or whatever. You know. I think <laughs> but, you're giving me my answer. Yeah. So 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 so. But then, yeah. so for me, yeah. I'm in South Africa. Yeah, yeah. It's a country that that has got a lot of Western influences. Yes. Uh, meaning. We are an English-speaking country, and we 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 have uh, a lot of European yeah. uh, influences in, in 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 most of the things that we do. Yeah. Um, and uh, and we we've got our own African indigenous side of music. Yeah. Uh, I wish I loved so much yeah. to go to the East, Swaziland music. Yeah. I, I, I really, I really love that. And we've got a lot of gospel sound in yeah. South Africa that is in the main led by your joyous celebration. And all. I sing a lot of that, yeah. on yeah. my own and yeah. in my own church. Mm -hmm. So, so, and and for me, it's associated with church. It's associated with what is acceptable, yeah. at least in my heart, yes. to be what I think gospel music should sound. So, yeah. so. I'm not sure if maybe I'm clear, but that's me when it comes yeah, to sounding. You. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 on your side, what what is acceptable and what is not? <laughs> generally acceptable. Yeah, generally acceptable. <laughs> GAP, <laughs> is it? <laughs> okay, so uh, this has has been a difficult question for a long time, but there is uh, one thing I feel like uh, I I can put it as my view. It's like it all talks about the background yeah. where you're coming from yeah 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 you know each each genre of music has got a root somewhere yeah talk of country music you look back it goes down to places like kentucky and all that and there is a cultural element to that music yeah you talk of uh the mu in malawi we've got different genres they are also coming from certain roots of the culture so when it comes to me, I have been influenced by so many genres, country music, reggae music, and uh, some cultural elements of music in Malawi. I've been influenced by those. Uh, to an extent that the genre that I do now, you can just say, I hear some sort of reggae in it. Mm. I hear some sort of country in it. I hear some sort of maybe, or, or, yeah, you, see, you, you know what I mean. Yeah. So I came to conclude to say, maybe you want to talk to your father. You know the times that you need to talk to him. And you know the approach that you need to give to him. You actually know, ah, when I meet dad this way, <laughs> he won't listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah, so that's how I felt like, okay, if I want to sing to God, when I sing this way, this is how I feel him coming down. You see? Yeah. Yeah. So that's how I got to know to say, I know I can sing my natural way. Yes. As long as that will bless God, I'm okay. Yeah. And I'm so certain it has to bless God, it has to bless me. And I'm sure when it does this, it will bless somebody else out there. Nah, that's good. The bottom line has to be it has to be a prayer for life. You need to be a prayer for person, you need to read the message, you need to have content. And that content is the Bible, mm. the message of the hour. Yeah. yeah, that's... And with prayer, you can come up with something inspired. Wow. Yes. Yeah, no, sure. no, no. So that's that, that's good. That's good. So, so, so I think I think you you're bringing a cultural element to it. So yeah. So I mean, uh, you know, we, we, together we've been to many countries. We've been to Zambia. Yeah. Uh, we've interacted with the with the Tanzanians, the yes. Zimbabweans. Yes. Um, now you're here with me. I've been to your country, so yeah. obviously there is something that is gonna be foreign to me yeah. that I'm gonna hear. Yeah, exactly. So how how should we respond to that? You know, because 
I, I remember when I first had uh, Trinidad singers, yes. I, yes. I had reggae. Yeah, yes. in my in my mind, I was like, okay, that's that's reggae. And in South Africa, reggae is associated with uh, marijuana. With the marijuana. <laughs> Rastafarian and all that, you know. But 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 look, yeah. truth be told, it's a blessing. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's it a is. blessing yeah. because. And we've learned a lot from them. Eh? Yeah, because so 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 they came, they came from a certain cultural background, which I think I would call it Caribbean. Yes. Which has got this thing that sounds a bit like reggae, even in how they speak, you can hear that they are from Jamaica or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. So. So and they package it nicely. They add. A very strong content, yes. and it, it it made it made sense to everyone. So, yeah. so how do you? But 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 actually, I, that's I, what liberated me. You know? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liberated yeah, from what? Okay. From country music. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the perception has been like, us we only sing country music. D the D. D oh. the. So I was like, okay, maybe that's the type of music we need to be singing. But I wasn't all satisfied. You know, I was like, okay, it's sounding good. But we can do more, you see. Yeah. Since I have got my background as well, where I'm coming from, I've got some elements that I feel. Suppose I put these in the music. Yes, I yes. think they can sound so good. Yeah, and bless yeah, me, yeah. you see. So when I heard these ones singing, I was like, okay, so somebody can play differently. Really? Okay. Yes. That's why I was like, ah, now I can do me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, with, 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 with me. <laughs> With me, it, it was just different, you know. At least, I think I, I would call myself a, a, a third generation. But yeah. my grandfather was in the message and sing, and my mom was yeah. in the message and sing. Yeah. So now it's me, you know. Yes. So, so, and uh, uh, coming from a musical family, obviously, country was a, quite a common thing because. Yeah. Of the message content in the yeah. music, it, it was the only, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, the believers, and the yeah. Piscals and all, and uh, yes. La Fontaines, and you know, yeah. they are the ones who were giving us that that content uh, yes. until the three that people came yeah. to create their own content, you know. Yeah. So 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 so, and with us, then we just started recently, you know, with with creating our own content and injecting our own cultural yes. background, yeah. right? Um, but generally, we were singing country, you know, we will sing our own uh, South African style. Back in the 80s, you know, we would, uh, yeah. we would dance in church and just yeah. have a good time. And uh, I remember my, my elder brother when he, when he, obviously he's like four years, three years older than me, so he, he started bringing in these American mass choirs, you know. Yeah. Uh, then we got exposed to mass choirs, and black side, the, 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 the African mm -hmm. American music. Yeah. And then, then, then we grew from there. And even in church, we would uh, would sing just about everything. Even now, we still do almost everything. We would jump from this to yeah. this to yeah. that. Yeah. So, so at least I, I can't say I was really bound that much, mm -hmm. but I could feel the chain, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could feel it. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. So, so that's good. So let's let's pass on that. Let's let's touch on what type of work are you doing in church? Because with me, I'm. I don't believe that as a musician, yeah, you can be effective. Yeah. Um, if you do not contribute in your local assembly yeah sure and 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 for practical reasons it's not it's not really a very complicated spiritual matter yeah for practical reasons yeah if you do not contribute to your to your local assembly you you don't grow musically charity begins at home eh? yeah you don't grow music because church provides you with an opportunity yes to fi to, to 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 test ideas weekly yes right yes. so and if you say if 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 you want to grow personal in music, yes. you grow your local assembly. Yes. Right? Yeah. If your local assembly is, is flourishing and is improving, you are improving. Yeah. Right? Yeah. As a musician. And whenever, wherever you go, you become better. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because you are contributing there. Yeah. And well, then it comes with a blessing. Exactly. It comes with a blessing because yeah. uh, when you are there, every time they, they're going to, you know, appreciate the work that you're doing and it comes with a blessing then it's easy to go out yeah. when you've sorted out your home church yeah. you know um so so i i i would see some musicians you know we would see them on the screens uh, yeah. they are doing their own thing at home and 
Yeah. And my question would be, so what, what is your contribution to your local assembly? What are you doing there? Okay, so I am a soul leader, church. And uh, I, I am also helping in building a band at church. Good, good. Actually, whenever I'm doing music, or I, I write a song, the first place I sing my song yeah. is in my local church. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's me. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Yeah. Sure. So I try, I sing it with the people in the church. The way they receive it. That's what gives me another gear. Yeah. You see? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, when we sing it, I'm like, okay, I've tried it this angle. What about this angle? Yes. I do it with the same church. And even the church band, we gather. Sometimes we, we just meet at a, one of our brother's place and we sing the same songs. Yeah. We sing and we find our way through. We structure the songs through singing. So, even when I go now to my band, it's like I've already structured the song with my, my church band. So it goes so easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So no, if there is no, the no. first place I need to do my service, it's in my local assembly. Nah, no, that's And pretty. I get the blessing there. And you know, the inspiration comes from the same preaching. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Of yeah. course. No, no, no. Oh, that's another point. Yeah, yeah. of course. Of course. Yeah. Because a a everything I wrote, Yes. Everything I wrote, yeah. I come back from church with a certain thought. Say, yes. but I had I had the pastor say this. Yes. What what does it mean? And then when you go and you start checking, checking, then you find that oh, this actually this this there can be a song that comes out. Exactly. Of this. Yeah. yeah. So so let's let, let's talk about um, the writings of, yes. of songs. Remember, yeah. remember in recent times we tried, and I think we should go back to that concept of ours. There. Yeah. It was quite difficult, but. <laughs> I don't think it works, you yeah, know, sure. uh, where we took uh, the masterpiece and, and we wrote, you yeah. wrote, you wrote your own, I wrote mine. Yes. Yeah. So, so by the way, we're going to be releasing, a, a, is it God's masterpiece, right? Yes. Yeah, so we're going to release your, your masterpiece uh, yes. soon. You, you said when? Next Saturday? Yeah, next Saturday. Are you sure? I'm bringing everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm waiting for you. If you give yeah, me, sure. then we, we, we push it out. So. So how easy it is to write? How do we write? You know, I think I think I, 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 I'm passionate about writing. I'm not. I don't regard myself as a writer that much. Yeah. Uh, but I saw that you know it got to be done. Yes. And so maybe you can just share what you know how 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 is this thing done? Okay. So for me, it comes in various ways. Sometimes somebody is preaching, as we said it here. Yeah. Somebody is preaching and I catch something from the sermon, uh, which I build on. Yeah. I give it some chords, some lines and all that. Yeah. Making it, uh, it should sound poetic. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. And I come up with a song. Yes. You see? There are sometimes maybe I'm going through something and I'm praying about it. So it's like the answer to my prayer comes through a song. Yeah. Yeah. And there are some situations, maybe I'm reading the message. And I'm like, oh, I make myself go read the message. Yeah. Say maybe it's a season, it's a Christmas season and all that. Mm. So I'm thinking, what can I say about Christmas? Yeah. And like, so I pray, I read the message, then something comes up. I remember like in uh, the last Christmas, I had somebody preaching in church. Mm. He was preaching about Bethlehem and all that. And whilst he was preaching, inside me I was like, we've heard a lot about Bethlehem. And Jesus, for a long time, didn't find a place uh, for, to, to shelter him. Can't we find him a place now? Mm. <laughs> so you see, I came up with a song through somebody's sermon. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's how I come up with songs. I write them and sing. There are times maybe I bring in friends. I have the song. Then I say, let's start playing. So they play whatever they can play. Then I tap something from it. Like okay. that's how I do with my band. Okay. Yeah. Then I build a song from that. All right. So 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 that's good. And then how how do you because one thing that I personally struggled with yeah. is the confidence to say even to my own family. You know you know how those people can be ruthless. <laughs> you bring a song and there's like ah. <laughs> I don't think the ink the ink is dry on this one. They wrote it now, now, now. You know, like <laughs> like like we can feel it. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, like those You're ones. Right. They will they will 
they will kill you. Well, they will test you, you know. Yes. So, so I'm saying. I mean, how do you deal with confidence issues to say, you know, to create something? Yes. That is why I respect yeah. a person who has created something. Yeah. Because as a creative, I I know what it takes yes. uh, emotionally to, yeah. to 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 sit on something for for hours and hours and hours. Yeah. And then you put it in front of people and they're like, okay, let, can we do the next song? Yeah. When... when <laughs> just started yeah, yeah and and, and <laughs> you you put like the, your whole month on this thing you've been you've been trying different angles you're thinking now this thing is ready this this little creation it that's it man I'm, I'm taking it there yes and when you put it on the table they listen to it it's like don't we have another one <laughs> like, you know so so yeah and 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 well I'm I've grown now yeah I, I don't I don't. I don't feel that people are obliged to to take what I do and yeah. and listen to it or take it seriously. It's mm-hmm. it's an honor if they do. Yeah, yeah. It's an honor if yeah. they do. But there's no obligation. And if it does, it means it means it's a creation and it's it's not really not working for this environment. Then I would package it and take it out later and yeah. maybe it'll work somewhere else. So, but someone who has not, if that happens, they they, they would naturally think. Yeah. Maybe this writing is not for me, you know. Yeah. I must just leave it for for other people to do. So, yeah. how do you deal with the confidence of saying, "Look, here is is a song. I've created it. Uh, yeah. Can everything else stop? Can we focus on this? Um, let's see if it will work." Uh-huh. Okay. As for me, I I have one thing. I'm the first fan of my music. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you you like your your music? Yeah, my music, and I listen a lot to my music. I'm number one fan of my music. That's number one. So that's what gives me courage to say, if it doesn't impress anyone, first it, it has to impress you. Me. Yeah. If it doesn't impress me, I don't take it out. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Number one and number two, we just have to know that we can fail at some point yeah and we can yeah. we can fail to impress maybe i should put it there yes way. yes some people may not like our work yeah and yeah. there will be times we'll do it so well and people will like our work so we should expect everything man that's so good man yeah. so 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 it, it's it's a battle that i had in my mind yeah. uh, that you, you know and i will say this like like people from our church they, they would not necessarily come to my sessions yeah I don't see a lot of them coming to yeah. my session, and yeah. I sometimes have a bit of mind battles. Yes. But then I was liberated. I said, no, you know, what? they don't have to come if it's not for them, right? Yes. So I'm. Um, at least they love me yes. at church. Yes. You know, they they love what I do at church, yes. and that's enough. Yeah. You know, this maybe it's meant for the people who would normally come to the to the yes. to the sessions, exactly. right? So so. So, um, what, what, what you said is important in that uh, you are your first fan yes. of, of what you're doing. So, so, I love what I do as yeah, well. My you. wife would tell me, I would go to church, yeah. sing, come back and watch exactly, church. Exactly. <laughs> and my wife would say, you were there, you were singing. Why are you, why are you now watching it the whole five hours again? The whole no, says, the whole no, no. Yes, no, I want to check, I want to check. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, so. To, to a point where I, and, and, and me, I've got my mom. Yes. Yeah. So, my mom, like, will, will hype you, like, will, will, like, call you and, like, wow, you know. Exactly. So, for me, it's me and yeah. my mom and yeah. the rest of the people. Yeah. <laughs> and whoever, one or two, if they come in and they enjoy, yes. then it's, it's, it's good, right? Yes. And that is so liberating. You, you take out the song with no pressure of it going viral or no no exactly. i don't think about those it's things just organic. yeah just organic yeah, yeah. and uh, i mean my favorite song yeah it, it it does not actually have a lot of views yes. it's actually two songs you know it's actually yeah it, it does not have a lot of views uh, yeah it's 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 uh it's god's god the god's must be science yes. Yes. that's my favorite song yeah and to this day i don't understand why people are not watching that song or whatever you know <laughs> but bottom line is I will do that again, even yes, if it actually, had. That's a song you can tell a story. Yes, a story. yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. So, 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 so that is so good, man. That is so good. Yeah. yeah sure. So, so maybe let's wrap the conversation. Mm-hmm. 
let's talk about the, the your, your latest offering yeah, yeah you you the purpose yeah yeah let's let's talk about that where where how far are you how is it how is it doing yeah. uh, i i quite enjoyed it you yeah. know uh, i had uh, there's that song that you're singing with the with with bruce and and, and i hear v on saxophone yeah yeah yeah, yeah so it's, it's 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 quite a loaded album yeah, yeah. Just, just tell us about that album. thank you so much uh, so this album purpose it's a purpose as you, yeah. Uh, yeah. you hear it it's like i it came from a thought that uh, you can serve god better when you're in your position and actually we are existing to save god and not yes. whatever we are doing we go to school we work we do abcd these are just there to help us our physical body but we are more of a spiritual body yeah and the journey that we are here on earth is for the that spiritual being mm. so i was saying I, I i had a thought to say ever since i was born i've never seen a complete rainbow I've only seen a, a rainbow as a semicircle. Mm. So it's like I've been searching to see where yeah, is that Where is that other half? Yeah. yeah, you see. So I found it at the head of Jesus Christ. Mm. So that's when I came to realize that I am only existing for him. And that's where the purpose is coming from. Wow, wow, yeah, wow. Sure. That is beautiful. So, okay. so, so where, where have you published the album? Where, where can the believers listen to that album? Right now we have the songs on Spotify, okay. Apple Music, YouTube, okay. SoundCloud, Deezer, and these other platforms. Yeah, yeah sure. So, so yeah, it, it opens up another question in my mind. So, yeah. I mean, how, how important is it that as believers we should, we should support each other? Yeah. Why, why, why should the believers support each other? So, and I'll tell you, uh, yes. maybe from myself, I, I believe that, you know, uh, whatever a brother is doing somewhere, yes. I should be the first one yeah. who, who talks about it. I should be the first one who encourages that work. Yes. Uh, but of course, yeah. it has to show that, you know, there's a good effort that has been put in it uh, and yeah. all, you know, all that, right? So. So, but how important is that? Why, why, why should uh, believers listen to believers' music? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just take it this way. You know, <coughs> we all look for blessings. You know, yeah. We go to church. We need a blessing. You meet a brother. God bless you, brother. Oh, okay. You, you know that type yeah, of thing. Yeah. But for you to be blessed, you have to bless. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. 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 So. If you want to be supported, support. Yeah, <laughs> you that's see? good. Yeah. So it's iron sharpens iron. Yes. So believers, we need to support one another because okay. we also need support. Yes. You need when we go. You see, when we go to church, we need a pastor to preach to us. And when a pastor is preaching and you don't say shout your amens, he feels like he's alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah. That's it's true. the same with a musician. Yeah. You're singing and you're not getting the support of the brothers, the sisters. You feel like somehow a certain part of you is not complete. Mm. It's the same with any other brother. He's not a musician, he's not maybe a, a preacher or what. But he goes to church and nobody says, nobody greets him. Mm. Nobody says, God bless you, my mm. brother. Mm. He feels like he's alone. Mm. So you see, naturally, everyone wants support. So when as a musician you are being supported by your brothers, your sisters, who you have packaged the message for, mm. because they are the number one people that mm. you sing for. When you're singing, you need them to catch the message. Mm. And when they are supporting you, you are sure that these people are getting the message mm. and they are being blessed by my music. Mm. So yeah, that's why I feel like yeah. we need the support. Yeah. We need to yeah. support one another. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So, so I've been one of the most privileged people. Yeah. Yeah, like I've got friends uh, in Tanzania. Yeah. You know, they they are giving messages of the, like they don't they don't they don't hide their support. You know, yes. you know, you know. You you see you see uh, views growing. Yes. You just don't know who is actually supporting. Is it's a yeah. secret support. Or yeah, I, sure. I've got people that publicly and openly would call me and they would write me. And I and I think I really really appreciate that. Yes. Right. Um, and I do support as well. I believe that um, that is why I right now as my motto, I actually 
want to work with message people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I'm working yeah. with Zion <coughs> yes. in in Cape Town. Um, got Sam Banks, who's yeah. just here yeah, in in Joburg, good yeah. bass player, and he's put on keys. Yeah. I collaborated with the Kasekes recently. Yes. I interact with Hanna, Ma, uh, Ma Pepeta. Yes. Uh, you know. We've got Antipas there in Tanzania in his team. Yes. Norton, you know them. Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. the, them choir is there. We, we've got a good thing going on. Yeah. Uh, now we've got that young man from Botswana. Yeah. That we, we we met and we've got that brother who is in uh, Malawi. Yeah. Whose father is in uh, Botswana. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Botswana. So 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 the links are opening up there. So we collaborate. And when I go in there, yeah. Uh, right now, for instance, now now we are going to PE on the 13th of April. Yeah. And. Uh, we we're gonna take Zion with from Cape Town into PE. Yes. And uh, there are some sisters that we've we've listened to now that are gonna form part of yeah. of our crew. Yeah. There's a brother uh, who's gonna play keys for us who is uh, in PE. We are looking for someone who's gonna be playing guitars for us in PE. Yes. So so that those brothers and us, we, there's not that competition. We don't yes. get there and they they see us differently no no exactly. we come we work together yeah. they bring their ideas we bring our ideas yeah. and we craft this 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 this, this thing yeah. you know um look i think we can call it a day yeah, um sure. thank you so much man yeah. thank yeah. you so much uh, you when are you flying out yesterday today oh, okay. around 12. oh okay okay i'm going back home man <laughs> they're going back home yeah, yeah no, that's good that's sure good. Like, it's been good i've enjoyed my stay nah that's good i like it in here century yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, so, sure. so when it's are we meeting again? Case, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit chilled. It's, yeah. uh, it's okay. You know? yeah. It's okay. It's, yeah, sure. God has been good. Yeah. Yeah. And then, are we meeting again in Malawi? You know, it's an annual thing. We just have to do this. We're doing and it. And this time, I'm thinking of Blanta. Are you thinking of Blanta? Been having calls from Blanta. <clears throat> Why don't you bring music to Blanta and all that? So I'm thinking this this time around, let's go to Blanta. No, let's do Blantai. Yeah, I agree. Blantai. Yeah, I'll do. I agree. Let's do Blantai. I've got the good friends there in Blantai yes. as well. Yeah. They've been calling me too. Please. Yeah, they've been calling me too. So yeah. I'm just going to call and say, yeah. <clears throat> set the date. Yes. And then we we start putting our things on the ground. We get the neutral venue somewhere. Yeah. Um, you're going to ship all the gear to, to, yes, to Blantai. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so I will, I will come down from there. Yeah. Yeah. And I hope this time I'll, I'll be able to bring a a good team as well, like a few singers. Wow, and please. Yeah. <laughs> like my sisters, they always, hey, those ones, you know, they will yes. do a video call, both of them. Why yes. did you leave us? Yeah. yeah. So you, 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 you're going, you just going around alone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but it can be good, having all of you there. It can really be good. Yeah, you know, no, no. I think, I think, I think we're gonna, we're gonna. Let's try. We're, yeah. we're gonna make it happen. Yeah, sure. So it's always winter, right? We're doing it winter that's side. Exactly. Yeah, no, no. It's yeah. fine. It's okay. Yeah, it's so okay. So no. People can get the warmth of the message. Yeah, it's yeah. Out there. It's chilly. <laughs> God bless you, man. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk. Yeah, thank you so much.